Alright, this video will be uh, across a couple days because I'm just going to probably... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So just watch the video. See what happens. Um, but yeah, so right now we're kind of just getting all of it prepped out. So that way we can weld up the new one. Um, we're waiting on that to come in the mail. It's Tuesday, so we should be here Friday. So we're just at least getting everything prepped. So that way when it gets here, we can make it up and we should be golden. But uh, yeah. Let's get this crap torn back apart again. Literally like two days after we broke it again. So yeah, should be a good time. Okay, so we redid the, the dipstick, so now it comes out in a okay place. Um, that's pretty much, so it's all just a giant void over there. Just like all soul. Um, and uh, that was not a ginger joke either, Paul. But uh, yeah, that uh, wastegate's coming off right now. And then this thing is forever junk. Thank God. And we got the turbos clocked. Um, we're gonna do like a relocation so that way it's not sucking in hot air after the radiator. Um, oh yeah, we also reclocked the um, AN16 off of the radiator or off the water pump. So uh, yeah, this has been a blast. It's been a blast. So hopefully next you'll see us uh, building a log manifold for this thing and. It works. We'll never have to worry about it ever again. You can, if you... Yeah. So it's, it was working, so it was just that hole in the wastegate. Just so crazy. It's... Yeah, because there's a... Which one is it? That's oh, the back one. This one right here, all the way around the whole weld, it just broke. Around the outside of the weld, just like last time. So, it's because like this shit's like paper thin. So the new manifold's like two and a half millimeters thick, so it's uh, some thick shit. So that'll be nice. But uh, yeah, see you uh, on a different day. All right. <clears throat> well, it came in the mail, so it comes with like uh, smaller ones. So that way you can do like, well, this is like the flange it comes with for a wastegate. But we have uh, um, the V band that just gets welded onto this, and then this will get welded on like so or whatever. Not sure what this one's for. It's, got, it's a straight one. So I'm not sure. This is supposed to go in between the turbo, but that's fucking stupid. Um, I'm not sure if this is the right size flange either. But uh, yeah, this is what we need really. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go make sure that this fits on there, and then I'll if it makes if it fits, then I'll start cutting up these to make them fit in between here. So let's go see if it fits. And it fits. So let's continue on. All right, after about like an hour of fucking dicking around with the grinders, uh, we got this shit all good. Good enough for us. So, uh, yeah, now we just got to get this all welded up, and then we have to figure out where we're going to put the flange and all that shit. So let's keep going. All right, took that clickbait title, and, uh, yeah, so we just uh, beveled so that way we can get better penetration. Um, and then, so these are stainless. This is mild steel. This is mild steel, probably. It looks like mild steel. Um, so, yeah. And we're using Harbor Freight 110. Um, so, hopefully, flux core. So, hopefully, that'll do. Don't see why not. So, let's do this. All right, well, there's uh, the first, uh, probably, like, a cumulative of four inches. Um, so, now... Actually, I'll probably flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll cut off these tacks, and then I can finish it all up. So. Yeah. Take it out of the car and find where we're going to put all the stuff first. So, yeah. So then we'll take it to the car, figure out where everything's going to go, and then we'll do it. So, and then we got to figure out how we want to go about this. This guy, if we want to go straight on there, or if we want to try putting like a small pipe in there to try and make up for difference. We don't know yet. We'll figure it out. So let's uh, keep going. Flipped it over, got that much, and out of wire. Of course, never fails. Never fails. Okay, there it is. They're basically like, this part up here is majority welded. We just got a little bit 
on the underside, which I'll take once we uh, do some test fitting. And then we'll uh, bust off these tacks and then take it off, flip it over, weld those, and put it back on. And then we'll start welding around the runners. So, but so far, fucking pretty good. Um, bumped it up. I was using 3.0 wire, and then now we have 3.5. Use, uh, where the hell is this right here? This is what I was using. Some link, link, Lincoln welding wire. Never use the cheap shit. So, uh, yeah. Wait for this shit to cool down, and then we can uh, test fit. Alright, there it is. Look at all that fucking room, though. But, uh, yeah, now we just gotta figure out where the hell we're gonna put shit. I know we were planning on putting this guy up here in the front somewhere, so that way it's straight up and down with this. So, hopefully, hopefully we can figure that out, and then wastegate's probably gonna go somewhere back here, something of that probably nature. So, let's see what we can get done. Alright, there they are. Like, these welds are mildly impressive. Like, look at the penetration we were getting in there. You know, it's a lot easier to weld thicker metal, and that's where, you know, it's easier. Otherwise, my welds look like shit. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that shit. Um, I'll probably do a double pass over the whole bottom part, just because once it's on, once it's all welded on there, I can't get back to that. So, make sure that shit is good. It should be good as is, but uh gotta be safe rather be safe than sorry so um right now i'm gonna weld on the v-band onto here um and then we're gonna drill the hole for this and then we'll get this welded on and then we'll also have to cut out the hole for this guy which we're going to be putting um right on there so but uh yeah that's the update let's keep going okay so what we did was we cut a slit there, slit there, and I ran slits across the sides, heated this shit up, pounded it out so it's straight, and then heated these up, pounded those down, so now this thing sits on there. Quite nice. We'll uh, clean that up after we weld it, but uh, yeah, that should be it. Now we can get this shit welded on. Okay, so here's uh, Paul's brilliant idea. I do not condone this idea. I know it's going to come back to bite him in the ass, but he doesn't want to listen. So... There's bolts going through this way, and so basically I'm gonna run a bead all the way around. So basically it's gonna act like it has studs. Um, these aren't even stainless. They're not even like grade eight. They're cheapies. You're really asking for trouble, bud. But all right, so let's get this thing welded on. Got some gaps to fill. It's not the greatest fitment like the other things, but we'll make it work. All right, well, there it is welded on there. Looks like shit. I almost made a nice looking manifold. And then this happened. Um, and now we just gotta get that hole drilled out to like. Yeah, basically to inside of there. Or close enough. I don't give a shit. So, but yeah, let's do that. I'll leave for two seconds. Paul's trying to figure out his life over there and how to freaking do that. I'm gonna make some. Dude, this fucking water bottle's shaking all weird. Water bottle is? Yeah, when you're fucking doing that. Yeah. It's like, woo! But, uh, yeah. One of these days, Paul will finish over there and then we can finish up a manifold maybe today. Well, if any of these drill bits worked. Hey, but at least the, the welder's probably cool now. Okay, after like fucking two hours, we finally got this fucking hole drilled out. It's not perfect, but uh, the struggle is motherfucking real. We've destroyed like all of the drill bits. Uh, yeah, this shit sucks. Stainless steel does not uh, drill very easily. So uh, yeah, now we'll just get this guy welded on like so, and we're good to go. So let's do that. Well, other than we still gotta weld on all the flange, but close enough. Well, there it is in all its glory. It's all buttoned up. No, yeah. it's not. Add on there. And then naturally, one of the bolts broke, so it got like cross threaded from a, um, a bead that was on there, so. And then, yeah. It's all going downhill since. So, yeah, Paul had one job. You remember that one thing I said earlier in the video, and it came true like. Like he didn't Almost cover it. immediately. Like he didn't cover it, and then a bead got on it. Uh, who prepped it? 
Not, not I. <laughs> Why would I? I don't know. Did you allow that? Uh, you're supposed to do the prep. Well, you didn't let me. Uh, I'm pretty sure you, you did. Said, you're the one. You're the one that way. came in here and you put the bolts on there. You should have put a thousand nuts on there. And they all. Then there's more of a chance it to get screwed. And I only have the, eight nuts. Then that's what I had them all covered. And they got it, got well or we should have just not. Someone should have drilled out the holes and just used the threads. Even though it made Good it interesting. Those bolts. Uh, just take the manifold to the thing. But uh, yeah, so now we'll figure that out and then we'll try and put some paint on her. Okay, we got it tapped out to M10. And hopefully that fucking works. I think we have to drill out a little bit in the turbo, but... No, it fits. No, it fits? Sweet. It fits. Sweet. And we're good to go! So, get that thing on there and then get it on the car and then we're gonna send it. Okay, so, it's on. Um, one thing we had to deal with was... Uh, just clearancing issues for like this nut. We had to heat it up, take a hammer to it, so it's good. And then I also grinded them flat to, you know, so the nuts could sit flat. No problem. We also had to use a smaller nut on this one. We couldn't use like the fancy one with the washer on the end. Should be fine though, because this hole on this flange isn't gigantic. Yeah, plus that's the way, that's the way they were. Um, so we still gotta get wastegate on. And then we got the turbo on. It's got the bolt in. And then one of the nuts, or like one of the top nuts, so there's still nothing on the bottom. But it's still on there, need to say. Um, like, look at that. That is damn near a straight shot. So it goes from here down into there. So it's like almost a freaking straight shot in. So that's good. Um, so we'll have to shorten this up tomorrow. We gotta shorten the intake pipe, or the Yeah, the charge cooler. pipe. So we'll have to shorten that to there. Um, and then, then we'll also make uh, something that goes from here to 90 over here so it can pick up fresh air somewhere. So, we might actually just put it down here and we just move this because there's a big ass hole right there. Yeah. That might be your better bet. You could do a velocity stack right there or something. Or if we put the piping through. Yeah. And just like let it dangle up in the front. But, uh, dangler. Little dangler. But, uh, yeah. That's where we're at for today. I'll continue this video, and we will see you tomorrow. Well, I uh, finally put a marker in there. So now the back is looking brand new. Um, and then I did a quick alignment. If you look at this tire, it's balled in, and this side's not as bad. So I'm pretty sure this is my problem, child. Um, and it was out a lot, so now it's in. We'll test that. Um, I also did an alignment on the front, and that's a lot better now. Now when I'm driving straight, my wheel is straight. Um, I didn't have no issues. I tried going around some corners fast, and uh, that uh, didn't have no issues. So hopefully it's uh, all fixed now, and then I retorqued the back there. But uh, yeah, um, still waiting on Paul. Um, it's the next day. Um, so I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll stop it where we're at right now. Um, uh, I know last night we were kind of messing around with some intake piping. Um, so it's going to go, like, down in here. Should look sweet, because this came with the talon. Um, but yeah, so this is where we're sitting at. And, uh, I'll see you in the next episode for, uh, part two when we finish up all that. And we'll also go to the hill. So, see you in the next one. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe.